RNA, the thing that I just explained to you can self-assemble. We have seen it self-replicate as well in laboratory and field settings. It does it by itself. Yes, RNA can self-reproduce. And as I just mentioned, RNA is not only genetic material, it is also a catalyst for a ton of biochemical reactions, and it also plays a major role in evolution. There's like 50 different types of RNA, and some of them play a big role in, in epigenetics, and some of them play a big role in like just basic Darwinian or neo-Darwinian evolution. They do a bunch of different stuff. Um, some of them can even oh, do, you talk about like there. mutation selection mechanism, micro RNA can do post transcriptional gene regulation. Like that's fucking nutty, you know? And so like you have this stuff, which is able to do remarkably complex stuff on its own and also produce remarkably complex emergent properties when combined with the other parts of a cell, which I just mentioned also self-assemble.